How you doing tonight? Disappointed old Belsevier, eh? Well, I was gonna build a trailer for the old RC boat I was, but uh, welder broke in, eh? She's down for the count, boys. So the feed's not working on her, eh? So I did some research on her, and on the board there's a little microchip there that goes into here that controls the feed, so I took that out, and I got another one coming from eBay, I do. Freaking right, so I'm gonna try changing that first before I go any further. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna change the actual control knob, eh? Because sometimes they go too. But I'm thinking it's that, because when you pull the trigger, it clicks. I bypassed everything, hit the motor with some 12 volt, and it turns, so it's gotta be in the board, boys. So now I gotta fix that damn thing before I can build a trailer to pull the old boat. So, not much else going on tonight, I'll tell ya. You know why? Because look at this, eh? I don't know if you can see it or not. She's a freaking blizzard here, she is. Can you see? Look at all the snow I got on the car, for God's sakes. What's really going on? Just a blizzardy day it is here today in the old Wyoming's, eh? Freaking right. But what are you freaking gonna do, boys? What are you gonna do, boys? Freak sakes. I have bad luck with these lenses. They're always dirtier than dicks, eh? Dirtier than a dick, they are. Freaking right, they are. Why wouldn't they be? Well, anyways, I was also doing some testing with the old batteries. I don't know if you guys with the RC cars have one of these to test the old, you know, batteries, LiPo batteries. But they work pretty decent, they do. So see, let's take one of my 50 C's that's been sitting on the shelf for a while, and uh, you plug her in here, boys, and she actually tells you. Wrong side, boys. It tells you it's a three cell, all, is that 14? 3.78, 3.8, 3.8. So they're all pretty close. I got one cell down a little lower than the other ones. But if you want a good charge and a good way to, you know, to run your batteries in your RCs, you gotta get one of these. They're dirt cheap. I'll throw the link below so you know where to get it. But uh, they're decent, especially in the boat. Cause you're running two, three S side by side, so it's six S. And if you got one bad cell, it takes them all down and then, you know, it just fucks the battery it does. Just dicks over the battery, something awful. So yeah, you need one of them if you're running all these batteries. They're a battery saver, they are. That way you know if your battery's charged or not before you put it in the car or the boat or the, the case or wherever the hell you put them, right? Right. But yeah, my, my video is just kind of cocked right over now because that's what it's gonna do for a video tonight on this snowy night where I can't go anywhere and there's nothing else to do. I was gonna build myself a trailer for the old boat I was. The welder is the pudding right now, boys. Frick sakes. It's from doing all that welding on the old, you know, close encounters there. I think it's because I was doing some, at the end there, I was doing some tacky tacks, like constantly. And I read online that that, that kind of takes them out sometimes. But the whole circuit board to buy is 160 freaking dollars. And that little chip was like 12 bucks for five. So I'll get that and I'll, weld, or I'll solder that in and try it. If that doesn't work, I'll get one of those $12 little knobby bobby there that controls the feed. And if it doesn't work after that, it's either buy a new welder, boys, or pay 170 bucks. But you can get the new welders for like, I don't know, 400 and change. So I don't know if I want to spend 170 bucks on a freaking little board, eh? I'm well just keep that one for spares and buy a new one. Freaking right, I might as well. I want to get the X Max too, eh? The old Traxxas X Max. I want the X Max. Big time. I want the TRX 4. Big time. Hey, I just want all sorts of crap I do, but I can't. Can't do it, gonna have to get the old deer out tomorrow. Cause the snow's just like I said, coming down like a, the plague, hey? Coming down like the plague it is. You now what, boys? Had the RCs out today with the daughter I did. There they are over there sitting on the ground, eh? It was just too much snow for him. The old Rossler there doesn't like the snow too much, the old two wheel drive. But the other, mine did pretty good, dud. But you get the deep stuff and just meet the battle tires I do. Still fun, I was gonna show you, but it was just too friggin' greasy, hey? Just too greasy, it was. Frick sakes. But anyways, I recorded this little footage here and I'll put it in with that and that's the other thing. To let you know, I did try to do, do a video for you, but I got cocked over by my welder. Guess I'm not finishing anything on uh, Close Encounters there either, eh? If the welder's not working. Frick! Boys! That's no good at all. Thanks for all the great comments, by the way, on the old YouTubes there. I love trying to reply back to everybody. Can't reply back to everybody just because, you know, I'd be talking all night on the computer. So I try to reply back to people randomly, eh? Because I love you guys and you guys are great. And you guys are like friends now almost, for God's sakes. 
your cyber friends you are, eh? Why wouldn't you be? But uh, don't forget to subscribe and like too. I need more subscriptions, I do. Share me if you can, eh? Why wouldn't you? But uh, I'll be back in a bit once I figure out something else to do. I will. Freaking right, I will. Oh, boys, I did kind of stick around with something, eh? I'm working on a little bit of the boat. I had the old output shaft for the old Spartan, eh? And you know how they have the brass bushings in them that wear out? Well, you can get the ones with the bearings in them. You can. But what I did is I just drilled it out, boys, and I got ordered some bearings for it. You know, to uh, save some cash, boys. Because the bearings are cheap. So we got a bearing size. And it's, it's not too bad. I did a pretty good job for freaking being freehand with the drill, eh, boys? Freaking right I did. Look at that, eh? So when you get the bearings, I already took a bearing out of the slash there just to try it and make sure, and it slides right in, it does. So when I get them in, you just got to take a little pick tool and just give it a dink, dink. It's just got, it's just so perfectly fit. I just want to dink, dink it. So it doesn't fall out, eh? But, uh... I should be able to get a few more miles off that with bearings in her. So if anybody's got a Spartan and uh, they want to put their own bearings in, they can, hey? Eh? So we'll finish the video off with that a little later. As soon as I get the bearings in, we'll do that. I gotta pull the boat apart and I gotta solder some connections and stuff like that anyways. And uh, we'll see how it works with the old bearings in her. Freaking right we will. We'll pack that full of grease in there and then we'll put the old bearings on her. It'll be decent. I can't wait to try it, boys, because that one's more out that's on the boat too, eh? Freaking right it is. Well, boys, nothing for you today, eh? Nothing for you. So I'll just add to my video from yesterday and this and that, and I just want to come on here and wish everybody a happy new year, eh? Freaking right it is. Anyways, I'm off to a party here in about two hours and this and that and the other thing, so we'll talk to you later, won't we? Freaking right we will. Hey, you know what to do for now. <laughs>